Have you ever wanted to make something like this for your game? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. So first things first, before you do any amount of scripting, you gotta publish a game because that's the only way you're gonna be able to upload a game pass. So you click up here on game settings and all you gotta do is click save to Roblox, then put your game name. I'm gonna just put tutorial for this video. Then it will just do this little resetting thing. Now you got your published game. So now all you're gonna do is go over to your browser, refresh on the creator dashboard you're gonna see your game right here then you click these little three dots and you click view on roblox when you're here it may say this we'll fix this later but for now you go to store click add pass and boom now you can create a game pass so i'm just gonna create a sword game pass with this video i'm gonna just call it sword i found this sword image on google so i'm gonna just use this as a game pass icon and you could also write a little nice description but the most important thing is that you click create. But after doing that, you're not done yet because it says off sale. All you're gonna do is open a new tab, click here, click configure, go to sales, and then add a price. I'll put it as 999. Now get back into Roblox Studio, and before the coding part, we're gonna have to make a GUI. So add in a screen GUI, and then add in either a text button or image button for this one i'm gonna do an image button only because i want it to look kind of cool i'm not going to show the process of me making this button only because i don't want this tutorial to be that long but yeah make your own button so now after you're done making your little button all you got to do is add a local script into the button oh all right, now this local script is going to be really easy because all we're going to be doing is making it so that when you touch this, the game pass prompt shows up for you to buy it. So I'm going to be writing code and then as I write it, I'm going to be explaining it. So first things first, you have to get the button, which is the script.parent. Then you have to get marketplace service and then you have to get the player, which is actually this, not that. Next, you have to connect a function to the mouse button one click event. So anything that we write inside of here will run when this button is clicked. So with that being said, all you're gonna have to do is use a marketplace service to prompt a game pass purchase with the player as a first argument. And for the second argument, you need the game pass ID. So to get the game pass ID, if you don't know, you gotta go over to your game pass also i removed it from my inventory but you got to go over to your game pass and get this number right here so i'm going to copy that then paste it right into here so now if you click play you're going to see that as soon as you click here you can buy this by the way this is a test purchase this does not actually take your robux in roblox studio but as you can see once we purchase it nothing happens so we gotta fix that first things first we need the tool that we're gonna actually give the player i just search up sword in the toolbox and this sword will work so all you're gonna have to do is plop it right into service storage now you're gonna add a script to service script service so first thing you gotta do is just get these variables the marketplace service the player service and the sword that you put into service storage all right so first of all i noticed that you won't need players sorry but next we're just gonna check when the prompt game pass purchase finished we're gonna connect the function with the player pass id and if it was purchased or not so now if we buy this we'll notice that the sword pops up but if we reset, the sword is now gone forever. So let's fix that. By the way, I noticed we actually did need the players. Very sorry about that. So this is the reason we needed the players because it will check when a player joins and then it will connect the character added function to the players, which basically makes it so that whenever the player join or the, whenever the player resets, dies, like their character gets reset this will run so now all we have to do is check if the player owns the game pass so marketplace service user owns game pass sync make sure this is the same then we will do the same thing that we're doing here just cloning it putting it in the player's backpack 
So now if we play, we'll see that after we buy it, it goes in our inventory, but when we reset, well, actually, I just noticed something. So since we're in studio, uh, yeah, we can't actually like buy it. Yeah, but just trust me, it'll work, guys. If you if somebody actually buys the game pass, then once they reset, they'll still have it. But with that finish, that's it for this video. I just wanted to say sorry for this upload taking so long, and um, it's because I'm working on something bigger that's gonna be very cool. Expect it out, I think, at least in the next month. I'm also planning on making a Halloween video, hopefully. So yeah, guys, bye.